Welcome back to the American College Surgeons Bulletin Brief from the Frontline Surgeons Voices. With me today is Dr. Caroline Renke, who's an Associate Professor of Surgery at Atrium Health, where she is also the Quality Officer, a nice tie-in to her role as Program Committee Chair for the Quality and Safety Conference. Welcome, Dr. Renke. Thanks so much for having me back. It was a pleasure to see you again. Absolutely great to have you back with us again, this time on a different theme, talking about the 2022 Quality and Safety Conference. So firstly, tell us, are we going to get to see each other in person or are we going to be sitting in our respective offices and homes on monitors like we are today? Yeah, we are so excited to have this conference be available back in person this year. Excited to see everyone in real life. Excited to do all that casual networking that happens in the hallway in between the amazing sessions and hope that you'll be able to join us there for all of the benefits of both the program as arranged officially and the unofficial benefits of the in-person networking that happens there. So where is there and when will we be there? The conference will be in Chicago, and it is July of this year. Fantastic. And we have the information on screen people can look at to hopefully link to it and get registered for this conference. Is there a virtual component and or the ability to view content at a subsequent date? Yeah, you know, certainly I think one of the benefits of virtual programs that we have recognized is the ability to offer the education to those who weren't able to make it. So ongoing work towards creating an opportunity to have some of the content, it won't be all of it, available after the meeting for review for those who are unable to attend. And staying on the theme of content, perhaps you could highlight some of the content that will be featured this year. Yeah, as there has been in years past, there will be a lot of specific tracks for people involved in several of the different quality programs across the American of surgeons. We were focused on the general tracks that would be available and of interest to all and are really excited about them. Some of the highlights that we have are a session overviewing 100 years of quality in the American College of Surgeons. So we'll have an overview of the history and then updates from our cancer and trauma programs, which are celebrating their 100 year anniversary. In addition to the QVP track that we'll have, there is also a general session around surgical quality and excited to share from that group conversations about what it means to lead quality and how we get from good to great. And the goal of that in our other session on diversity, equity, and inclusion is to really provide the attendees with some take-home actions that they can put into practice the week after they get home from the conference and make those sessions really meaningful. Sounds like an absolutely splendid conference. The other important point that we need to cover with all of this wonderful content at the Quality and Safety Conference is who should attend. One of the great things about this conference historically has been that we have attendees from a wide range of roles. So obviously we have our surgeon champions who are an important part of the conference. We have our SCRs who bring great value. And then we have a wide variety of other roles that attend so surgery quality officers, administrative leadership, and a variety of roles that have the opportunity to benefit from this conference. I think the other thing that's really unique about this year's conference is that we're going to have a basics of quality improvement workshop that'll be held in parallel parallel to the general conference. And so that's really a focused track available for folks who want to hone their skills and quality improvement and get some real dedicated time to learning how to implement that in their setting. Well, the, the residents are all expected, of course, to participate in quality improvement projects. So would this be a good conference for residents and fellows to attend? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for residents. We've had engagement from residents in quality across the hospital in the NISQIP program. And I think seeing what that looks like on a national stage beyond just what they see in their individual settings is a fabulous opportunity and certainly the opportunity to meet with leaders in those realms and make those connections. And then the other group who might be interested, they may not participate, for example, in, in NISQIP or MBSQIP, but our colleagues who work in other countries. And how would you think this program might appeal to international surgeons? Yeah, I know that that was one of the benefits of when we were able to have it virtually is that we did have some attendance from internationally that may not have been possible in person, particularly in the COVID setting. So I know that that has been an important part of our attendees and certainly know that we have collaborations with even hospitals that do NISQIP internationally. And so would hope that those people would be able to join us if it was of interest and would look forward to having them there. Fantastic. So one doesn't necessarily need to be at a NISQIP hospital to come to benefit from the program. 
Oh, absolutely not. I mean, certainly there's a lot of track specific things that'll get into the details of the different programs. But again, there's a general quality improvement workshop and all of the general sessions are intended to be applicable to the broader audience. So anyone who's interested in improving the quality of surgical patient care. Fantastic. Well, you've put together an absolutely first rate program and it's clear to me that everybody's going to benefit, whether they're in training or in practice, whether it's here in the USA or in other countries. So we're looking forward to watching and participating in this phenomenal educational endeavor. Sounds highly interactive educational endeavor in, in July in Chicago. Well, we are excited to be there and excited to see everyone there. So hope you'll be able to join us. Thank you. Thank you.